Okay, so this is a sensitive situation for a team with a starting QB prone to injuries that we've talked about. Vic missed three games in each of the previous two seasons with injured ribs. That's not all, though, including the playoffs. He's been listed on the injury report 16 times since 2010 with ailments that have ranged from a concussion, concussion to a broken right hand. And Chris, I mean, how worried should the Eagles be at this point that they built this offense around Michael Vick, who has played 16 games only once in his entire career? Right. I don't think worried is the word. I think concerned is because his inability to stay healthy and their style of play. Michael Vick is not going to change. Now he's taking better care of his body. He understands the offense. He's not trying to get himself within arm's way, but the way defenses are playing him and his style of play of holding the football and the Philly style of trying to throw the ball deep down the field, which requires Requires your quarterback to hold the ball longer, which means your quarterback's going to get hit more. I believe that Michael Vick will always be Nick. He's a very small quarterback, a little bit bigger than Drew Brees, but a slight frame, and he's going to get hit every week, and eventually, keep getting hit, you're going to get hurt. So is that okay then for this team? Well, that's what they've decided to do. They gave him the six-year contract. They're stuck with them in the second year of that. That's the style of play which they've adopted. Andy Reid, they're going to have to win with that. How many games do you expect Vick to start as well as finish this season? I look for Michael Vick to probably start 13 to 14 games. If you can get 13 to 14 games out of Michael Vick, you're winning. And there's a percentage of winning those games with him being in there. The thing is, what type of offense do you run in those games that he's hurt?